What is up? What is up? Look at what's behind me right now. You see that? That's a long bed 4x4 Pioneer. You already know what that is. Let's check it out. I got this 1990 Jeep Comanche Pioneer 4x4 long bed 4.0 automatic. It's got a bench seat, column shift. It's got a Dana 44 rear matching Lear cap monitor and I paid free 50 I got blessed everyone this is nuts let me tell you a little story about this Jeep right now I was on one of my local Jeep forum groups on Facebook just perusing like I usually do and I saw a post from a family that wanted to pass their Jeep on their son's Jeep they wanted to pass it on to an enthusiast they had about 50 comments on that post in like 10 minutes, but you know what? I just messaged them and I said, hey, do what you want to do. I love what you guys are doing. I'd love to give that Jeep a great home. I'll pay you for it. I'll do whatever you want. I'll come mow your lawn, whatever. And uh, <laughs> they said, after a little bit of deliberation, they said, come on and get it. We like you. So I got blessed, everyone. I, I went out there and drove about 10 hours to go pick this bad boy up and 10 hours back. And I really did get blessed. What a cool family. Thank you, Mark and Susan, for this great gift. She's got 212,000 on the clock. Not a big deal for me. It's got a new system in here, AC. It's been sitting since 2012, guys. Look, it even has some cobwebs in it still. I am so ecstatic about this. I even have the original owner's manual. Give me a break. They really blessed me. 4x4 four four on the floor. Column shift. Fantastic. My favorite combo. That way you actually have room in here if you want to cram a third passenger in in an emergency. She's got a sliding rear window and a headrest bench seat, which is awesome. I just can't tell you how thrilled I am, guys. On the way back towing, this piece of trim started flapping off, so I pulled it off and um, I'm letting it flatten out here in the sun. And I'm going to be removing this glue and putting it back on because I want this baby to be absolutely mint factory, just like it was. Right now it's sitting on a 3-inch lift with some 31 inch tires and boy it looks right i'm not going to mess with this thing one bit i'm just going to wash it i haven't even washed it mark the previous owner pressure washed it for me and it's looking pretty good with just a pressure wash wait till i show you guys under the hood though it's nuts it's got a factory hitch on here the leer cap look at this even came with a trolling motor in the back. What the heck? Oopsie. Clean body. No dents. No dents anywhere. Unreal condition. Beautiful, beautiful shape. I just can't even believe it. It's one of those stories that you think would never happen to you. I don't gamble. I don't enter lotteries. I never win anything. I always lose and... I figured why not just message them and see and I got super blessed so really wanted to share this with you guys I feel super fortunate they gave me a clean title let's look under the hood it's a gas let's check it out this thing has been sitting since 2012 under a tarp in his backyard oof big oof look at this mess I'm gonna have to clean up it is full to the brim with yard waste something was living under here and these leaves have been sitting here so long they're starting to decompose and turn into mud so i can't wait to shop vac this baby out this is it right now before i do any work to it just wanted to document this look it's dirt everywhere but you know underneath we see a new cap and rotor clean oil filter nice wires 
he said it was running when he parked it so i believe him man they were some really great people i'm really really excited to clean this thing out and give her a new lease on life you know that's what they wanted and i'm definitely going to honor them and do it right so anyways guys here's the comanche i am so so thankful i'm definitely not taking it for granted I definitely really appreciate them and I just wanted to share this awesome experience with you guys oh I forgot to mention it's got factory skid plates under there as well right there and it also has the trans skid plate and like I said she's got the Dana 44 rear as well so I am really really lucky it's definitely not a metric ton because it doesn't have the tow mirrors and it doesn't have uh, the five spring leaf packs but those could have been switched out when it was lifted. So I don't really know how it was ordered from the factory, but either that rear end was a special order or someone swapped it in, or it came with some sort of off-road, like upcountry package accessory. But it's a Pioneer, it's beautiful, I love it. Tell me what you guys think of this awesome rig. Tell me what you guys would do if you were blessed with a free Jeep Comanche. I am so stoked and it definitely went to the right home. It's like my 30th Comanche in my lifetime and this one I'm definitely never going to get rid of. I'm just going to keep it and enjoy it until I'm an old, old geezer. So there's my street Comanche. There's my two door Cherokee. I got two more Comanches at the ranch and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day to share this with you guys. So let me know what you think. I'm so pumped about it, I can't even describe it. And uh, yeah, cheers guys. I'll see you guys on the next one when I got some more awesome stuff to show you. Peace.